before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free, and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's Oasis. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Community Wealth. Today's video is not going to be long. Just want to talk about the next status in the second draw process with Wampley. But before I get into that, I do want to address some things. First, there's a lot of spam going on. I don't mind the spam. It actually gives me comments. It gives me you know it gives me activity so I'm not really concerned like that but it is one thing I'm concerned about most of the spam are scams they're trying to get you to contact them for whatever reason I guess they want to get your information but there's one in particular I'm going to show you right now this right here As you can see there's somebody who's made a fake profile of me right here see the difference Mine is great. There it's not. And then they want you to contact them through a fake email. My email looks nothing like this, all right? And I'm not going to tell you to email me either. I'm going to address your issues or your concerns on the YouTube page in the comments. So that's what I'm going to do. So never respond to somebody who's not great. That's on any channel. If they're not great, that's not who you respond to respond to this person and this person is not going to get you to send them information this person is going to address you right then and there on the channel okay so that's first also I'm going to show you some comments just want to address some things right here on my SBA video I don't know what this is about but this is very rude I don't understand what they've been talking about as you can see I addressed them See how I address? I'm not gonna read how I, how I address them, but you can read it right here. Pause it if you have to. But this right here, I don't even know what they're talking about. It kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but I took it as some people just get up on the wrong side of the bed every day, or they come on YouTube or Instagram or whatever just to start stuff, just just to say ignorant stuff, just to be. I guess they call this cyber bullying. I'm over 40. I don't get bullied on, on the internet. It doesn't bother me one bit. But I did have to address it because it did rub me the wrong way. All right. And I addressed it in a professional, you know, tactful manner. You know, I didn't go all the way in. And this person here, don't be this guy. All right. Or this woman. I guess it's the same person. Oh, I, I didn't see that last time. I didn't even look at that. All right. Don't be. Again, I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Because apparently they didn't watch the video, all right? So I guess after they didn't watch the video, they decided to say something silly, and then come back and say something even more ignorant, I guess. But even here, zero on decline. All they had to do was watch the video. This is how I know they didn't watch the video. They watched some of it because they brought up this whole high-rise situation when I just explained to them that the high-rise is in central downtown Chicago. Apparently they don't know anything about cities and uh, big cities at that uh, and downtown areas like a downtown Chicago, which is like, you know, New York, L.A., you know, whatever. I mean, living downtown Chicago, you got to make a minimum $300,000. I know you probably wonder why I'm addressing this, but do not be this person. This person is just ignorant. All right. Because if they would have looked, they would watch the video. This comment wouldn't have been made. Because clearly. As you can see right here, 
they said that the application would decline it was zero but down here if they would watch the video they'll see that it'll say eidl advance one thousand dollars funded and it says targeted advance nine thousand dollars approved so that was just obvious right there that's just ignorance but anyway i'm gonna uh move past this but i will say do not come on my channel saying ignorant stupid things just don't come on here with that nonsense all right i don't tolerate it it's not called for because i'm just feeding information to people i'm trying to help you okay all i'm doing is i'm helping people i'm going through i'm doing walkthroughs and tutorials to help people all right that's all i'm doing I'm not saying anything crazy. I'm not saying anything racial. I'm, I'm helping everybody. It doesn't matter. If you want some of this money that the government is putting out, I'm helping you to try to get it. All right. And I, and as everyone know, I respond to every comment or as many comments as I can. If I have 60 comments, I respond to 60 comments. All right. So back to the situation. All right. So. I'm on a second draw, and as you can see right here on the screen, I am at SBA processing. Okay, so with the with the second draw, how, how it really goes is you go into lender funding. They send you the DocuSign for the second draw application. You DocuSign it. Then it goes into borrower action required. All right. But during that time, you're about to get funded for the first draw. They send you the money for the first draw that you go borrow funded. It takes two to three days. Sometimes it takes a little longer, but you will get the money in your bank account once you go borrow funded for the first draw. Then you're gonna go into sign and hold with the second draw. And once you go into the sign and hold, that's basically Wompley taking your application and holding it because remember you already DocuSigned it. You DocuSigned it before you even got funded for the first draw. So what they're doing is they're holding it for the allotted time which is usually around seven business days or so to send it over. Well, they're holding it for a lot of time to be able to send it over to SBA for processing which is why I'm at now. There are quite a few of you that's way ahead of me. Some of you, uh, that I actually got one comment where somebody got funded for the second draw already. So congratulations, okay? But many of you are ahead of me already. But I'm just going through the walkthrough. And as you're telling me what's going on, I'm learning as well because I'm not there yet. And I'm going through it just as you're going through it. So a lot of stuff you're asking me, I probably don't even know yet because I haven't went through it yet. But anything about the first draw, I got you. You know, because I've, I've been there. Now, of course, with the uh, with the extensive holds, you're not like you're waiting for your money, you're waiting for the next uh, status to come up. That part, everybody's different. I got over a thousand comments on like five or six videos, and everybody's process is going differently. Even with the ID check, even with uh, uh, the verification questions for the DocuSign, everybody's thing is going differently. Everybody's time frame is different, especially with the different lenders. I'm with Harvest. Harvest is pretty quick. Now, some of the other lenders, they're taking longer. So I can't vouch for different lenders unless you're with Harvest. So I kind of know how Harvest go. But even with Harvest, some people are, you know, getting held back. But once you go SBA approved, you're pretty much going to get your money. So once you see SBA approved on either the first draw or the second draw, you're pretty much a shoe in to get your money. Unless there's something going on with the lender. But once SBA approve it, you should get funded. That's what it's looking like. You should. Like I say, unless there's something going on with, with your lender. But I just want to update you guys with the video that I am at SBA process. Oh, one more thing. A lot of you ask questions about the different statuses. All you have to do is go here. All right. It'll tell you pretty much what the status is about. It says borrow funded. This application has been funded. The lender sent the money to the bank information provided depending on the recipient bank institution it can take a day or two before the receiving bank will show you the money has arrived i'm an sba processing now remember i'm showing you what these bubbles are so this application has been submitted to the sba for review 
the SBA will either approve or decline this application. So that's pretty much if you ha if you stuck on a status, just look at the uh, the information bubble. That's all this is, the information bubble. Information bubble. It'll tell you exactly what's going on, okay? And also down here, you got funding instructions. If, if this is not green, go in there and pretty much see what's going on with that. This is where you will make sure that your information is updated for your bank because this is what they're going to use to send you your money. All right. That's what this is funding instructions. So you want to make sure that everything is good there. Okay. But other than that, I'm an SBA processing for the second draw. Um, many of you will get here. Once you get past the first draw, you already signed your second draw DocuSign. So you will get here. So once you, once you are signed and hold, your next step is SBA processing. And I guess after SBA processing is going to be SBA approved or declined. But more than likely, you're going to get approved and you're going to go through lender processing. Which after that, you'll be going through lender funded. And hopefully, you go to borrow funded. All right, that's pretty much how it goes. But thanks for watching, and congratulations to everyone who got funded either for the first and or the second draw. Well, I guess it's not or because you got to get funded for the first draw first. So, congratulations to everyone who got the first draw and the second draw. If you haven't gotten the second draw yet, I'm gonna send you congratulations, and I'll update you once my second draw goes through and I'm funded. But again, this is where we at. This is where it stands and look out for the next video, okay? Subscribe, subscribe to It's A Like, share, and yo, let's get this money.